and then a glad clear harmony mark the truth's outline reset the balance and measures of the world so everything changes now our values of this creation of this world what we have been looking at the world through the faculty of mind that has undergone a change it is not now through the mind that we are looking at the world but with some other faculty of the divine knowledge and expression and will knowledge expression will reset the balance and measures of the world each shape showed its occult design so it is not just is not an issue it is not just a stone or rock or this thing or that thing see. there is something behind in each object each shape showed its occult design and he god's meaning in it for which it was made each object each individual each aspect of creation has a kind of a purpose in god's design and it is that design which is now revealed by this faculty and the vivid splendor of his artist thought and then further down a channel of the mighty mother's choice the immortal will took into its calm control our blind or erring garment of life now from thought mind is coming to the life part the pranic part mighty mother's choice immortal's will took its calm control over blind erring government of life until now it was erring government of mind and they have been now come under the sway of these centers now what happens to the government of life a loose republic once of wants and needs yes our ambitions our desires our cravings then bow to the uncertain sovereign mind life now obeyed to a diviner rule at every act became an act of god now you describing the centers connected with life part of it in the kingdom of the lotus of the heart anahata this is the center anahata sasara adnya vishuddha anahata in the kingdom of the lotus of the heart love chanting is pure hymenial hymn made life and body mirrors of sacred joy and all the emotions gave themselves to god so this is the bhakti center this center of devotion of love of joy it has that has now opened out here and then further down manipura naval and the naval manipura in the naval lotus broad imperial reign is proud ambition and is master lust so this is the center of ambition craving lust all the things are present in the naval center the subconscious heart vital subconscious still lower down is here its proud ambitions and its master love were tamed into instruments of great calm sway to do a work of god on earthly soil and then further down below the manipura swadishthana narrow center just below the navel swadishtan in the narrow center narrow these the centers petty par so there you got all these greeds lusts ambitions all these six what we call repos blemishes vital blemishes that present that are kind of locked in the center swadishtan to the narrow these the centers petty par is childish game or daily dark design was changed into sweet and boisterous play a robe of little gods with life in time so they have become happy gods you see they have got released now you see and then further down muladhara so this is swadishtana manipura navel swadishtana just below the navel and at the base of that thing at the genital is the muladhara in the deep place where one the serpent slept 
there came a grip on matter giant powers it is there all the energy is locked and it is there now the power on matter is present so you see you can see now mental vital the material the physical gross physical they are getting open now to the higher divine power in the deep place where one the serpent slept they came a grip on matter giant power for large city in life's little stream a firm ground was made for heaven descending might yes if the heaven light has to come there you need a support you need a base and that base is provided by matter and it is that now matter which is opened out to the divine power is still directly see a firm ground was made for heaven's descending might now this is the story of mythological story in the indian tradition of the descent of ganges how the heavenly ganges comes down upon earth and the worry was if it comes down like that because of the pressure the thrust earth will sink down if she falls on the earth she will sink down somebody had to hold the mighty power of ganges coming down upon earth and then it is shiva who offered his head to the ganges and she lands on his head and he stands formed there and then from there she flows down in the plains you see <laughs> so a mighty ground that is shiva he is presenting her yes i am ready now to accept you come down you see a firm ground was made for heavens descending might in heavens flood is received by shiva and then she comes out now this is the description of all the seven centers coming down 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 seven centers see how the change how that thing is rushing down first there's a rushing down of the divine power from above down below well actually this is the difference between the traditional kundalini yoga and shivendu's yoga in the case of traditional tantric practices the power rises from below up and goes and touches from matter it rises and goes and touches there in the spiritual discipline of shivendu it is from above that the power comes down first and then it awakens the lower centers it awakens the lower centers afterwards you see so mostly people who have approached the integral yoga very often very often i would say maybe 70% 90% of the people the first experience a kind of a force on the head some sort of pressure on the head something is it got squeezing pressing it down like that and then it slowly 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 sinks down then see so that is the way in shivendu yoga the divine spiritual force starts working from above down below in the other it starts from the lower see behind all reign her sovereign deathless soul her of course savitri you see <laughs> that difficult pronoun you see <laughs> her sovereign deathless soul casting aside its veil of ignorance so the veil of ignorance has now gone because of this thing ally to gods and cosmic beings and powers so because all those things have come from above the ignorance has gone and now she knows the gods she knows the cosmic beings she knows the cosmic powers she has opened out immediately to the spiritual consciousness adhyatma spiritual consciousness you see normally in the tantra you go inward 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 you don't open out to the cosmic dimensions the cosmic dimensions open out you go into the spiritual when the divine power starts operating from above down below 
that is the difference. In the normal practices, you go from one plane about the other plane. Mind, about that higher mind, illumined mind, intuition, over mind, you are lucky, super mind, and about that you see, go like that. That is the cosmic dimension which open up. Here, the opening through the inner entry is the receiving of all the cosmic power when that force is descending down below. Cosmic gods, gods, cosmic beings, powers, means a kind of a universalization has taken place in the case of the individual to this process. Or rather you can say that it is here that the Vedantic path and the Tantric path meet. In the Vedantic path, you rise plane above plane. The ascending slopes of heaven, as the Veda says, you climb ascending slopes of heaven. Here, the ascending slopes get revealed to you by going inward, 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 and when that power comes down. Allied to gods and cosmic beings and power, it builds the harmony of its human state. Surrender into the great world mother's hand. Only she obeyed her soul supreme fear in the enigma of the unconscious world. Yes, it is only she who can reveal the mystery of this inconscient world. In other words, she is now opening out through the inner sadhana to the spiritual dimensions of realization. You see, how the tantric path is leading to the Vedantic, it is what is happening here. A secret soul behind supporting all is master and witness of our ignorant life, admits the person's look and nature's rule. But once the hidden doors are flung apart, then the way king steps out in nature's front. The way king steps out in nature. He has been hiding behind. Now the doors are opening out because of this pressure. All the centers have opened out. And then what happens? A light comes down into the ignorance. Its heavy, painful knot loosens its grasp. Mind becomes a mastered instrument. Life, a hue and figure of the soul. So how things open out here from below, you see. Light comes down into the ignorance. The pain is loosened. Mind becomes an instrument. Life becomes a part of the soul itself, you see. Happy, all happy grows towards knowledge and towards bliss. So the tantric path has opened out to the devotion and also to jnana, bhakti and jnana. Knowledge, jnana and devotion. A divine fusion then takes nature's place. So it is no more our nature which governs our activities. It is a divine mighty, divine power, divine shakti, who is now taking possession of all our actions, all our activities. Takes nature's place. In other words, it is a para prakriti now which has got into operation, displacing a para prakriti. A para is the lower nature. That lower nature is now displaced and in her place has come the para prakriti. Superior nature, higher nature, and pushes the movements of her body and mind, possessor of her passionate hopes and dream, the beloved despot of her thoughts and acts. She streams into us with her unbound foes. See, we have to be really powerful enough to receive her unbound foes. Our ground has to be really strong to receive her unbound force. Into mortal lame, the immortal's rapture and power. That needs enormous preparation on the part of the other Christian. And inner law, with that, see, he's talking all the again, seriously change. This has happened. And inner law of beauty. 
saves our lives. So it is not by our mind we think, it is not by our sense of aesthetics we just think. Some other perception has opened out in our case. Our words become the natural speech of truth. Each thought is a ripple on a sea of light. <laughs> then sin and virtue lead a cosmic list. They struggle no more in our delivered hearts. Our acts chime with God's simple, natural good or serve the rule of a supernal light. <clears throat> so this is the high celestial change that has taken place in the case of Savitri. This is the rushing of the two spirits into each other. They rush into each other and became one. That it is not now the lower nature which is governing Savitri, but the higher nature. Divine fusions now has taken possession of the lower nature completely. See. <clears throat> 